Welcome to the CB Evaporative Cooling System installation video. Use this video in combination with the product manual and installation guide for proper installation. Construct the framed opening to correct size according to chart A and your cooling system size using a 2x10 across the bottom, 2x4s up the sides, and a double 2x4 across the top. The 8 inch pipe support bracket should be installed every 60 inches on center, starting a maximum of 24 inches from the end framing. The holes in the bracket should be aligned vertically with bottom flange flush with bottom of the 2x10. Use holes in the bracket as a guide and pre-drilled holes in the framing. Then fasten bracket using lag screws. Position the 8 inch pipe in the pipe support brackets with the non bell end and the cut lines facing up. With the 8 inch pipe sitting in the pipe support brackets, prepare the pipe with PVC pipe primer, following the directions for use in drying. After priming, use heavy duty PVC cement in accordance to the PVC cement directions. Slide the pipes together 5 inches deep, making sure the cut lines from each pipe line up. Continue for all sections of 8 inch pipe, making sure cut lines line up. On the tank end, position the 8 inch pipe so that it extends past the inside edge of the framed opening 4 inches. On the opposite end, cut the 8 inch pipe so that it extends past the inside edge of the framed opening 4 inches. With the 8 inch pipe sitting in the pipe support brackets, Mark a line between the cut lines a quarter inch past the framed opening on each end of the pipe. After the PVC cement has set up, cut along the outside edge of the cut lines and across the marks at each ends between the cut lines. Remove the cut piece and any other debris from the remaining 8 inch pipe. Make sure the cut opening in the 8 inch pipe is facing up. Starting from the tank end, Install the drip collector into the 8 inch pipe by inserting the side of the drip collector with the flange into the pipe closest to the framing and then snapping the front of the drip collector into the front of the 8 inch pipe. Once drip collector is snapped into the 8 inch pipe, make sure drip collector and pipe is level and the flange is resting on top of the 2x10 and drip collector is pushed up against the end framing. Then secure in place using 5 one inch pole barn screws. Repeat for the remaining drip collectors butting them up one to another. Locate the distribution cap and the plastic pipe holder. Fasten four pipe holders to each distribution cap using two pole barn screws. Make sure all the pipe holders are installed in the same direction. Hold the distribution cap up to the top framing so that the end is against the end framing and the long edge of the cap is aligned to the bottom edge of the 2x4. Loosely secure in place using one pole barn screw in the end slots. Insert one piece of cooling pad at each end of the distribution cap. Use these pieces to adjust the height of the distribution cap. Distribution cap should fit down tight to the cooling pad. When the distribution cap is in place, make sure it is level, then tighten the two pole barn screws then install three more pole barn screws in the remaining slots. Install the remaining distribution cap by butting the mounting flange of the next distribution cap up to the previous one, with the splash guard overlapping the previous distribution cap. Make sure distribution cap is level and loosely secure in place with one pole barn screw in the end slots. Then fasten the two distribution caps together using two hex bolts and wing nuts. Repeat this step for the entire length of the framed opening. Insert the first piece of cooling pad and slide it tight up to the end of the drip collector. Be sure the directional arrows on your cooling pad point upward and to the inside of the building. Making sure the pads are tight together, install the remaining cooling pads stopping at the last two pads. Slide the next to the last piece of pad tight to the end panel. Measure the opening that is left for the last piece of pad at the top and bottom of the opening. If the opening is smaller than the width of the last piece of pad, then use a handsaw to trim the last piece of cooling pad to fit the opening. Insert the last piece of pad into the opening. 
Insert one hex bolt into each pipe holder bracket down the length of the system. Find the pad retainer and position it onto the bolts in the pipe holder brackets and secure in place with four wing nuts. Where the next pad retainer overlaps the previous pad retainer, secure with hex bolt and wing nut through slots. Assemble all the one and a half inch distribution pipe together keeping the holes aligned. The belt end of the pipe goes on the tank end. Snap the distribution pipe into the pipe holder brackets with the holes rotated 45 degrees so they are pointing towards the splash guard. Locate the end panel. The one and a half inch flange with four holes rests against the end framing with the one inch flange away from the framing and the bottom tab sticking into the slot between the end of the drip collector and the end of the slot in the eight inch pipe. Push the end panel up against the drip collector at the bottom and the distribution cap at the top and attach to the end framing with four pole barn screws. Repeat for the opposite end panel. On each end of the system, install an end panel retainer bracket by inserting a hex bolt into the end panel hole and a second hex bolt into the pad retainer slot. Then place the bracket over these two bolts and secure in place using wing nuts. Refer to the product manual for tank installation. Thank you for watching the CB Evaporative Cooling System installation video. Use this video in combination with a product manual and installation guide for proper installation.